Hi guys and welcome! Today we'll be creating an art inspired by the country of Peru. Llamas were very important to Peru during the time of the Incan Empire. They provided the Incan people with wool, food, and way to transport their goods. The Incan believed that once upon a time, llamas loved to talk. So let's see if we can create this artwork. Make sure that you go to the Bemoji Museum in your Bemoji classroom so you can learn more about the Incans and about llamas. I hope that you like it and let's get started. Hi guys, so for today you're going to need your paper to be horizontally, just like this, like the sleepy line, the horizontal line. After you do that, we are going to start drawing the llama. Make sure that you have a pencil because we are only going to draw today. So I'm going to start here and let's make a oval. A little oval just like this. After you draw your oval, let's draw some little ears like this. One, two. And now I'm going to trace those. One, and two. After I do that, I'm going to be doing this kind of like a little curve right here. And after that, I'm going to put a tiny little eye there. Then I'm going to be doing another little curve just like this. After I do that, I'm going to be making a wavy line like this. Ooh, a curved wave. And then on this side, I am going to come down and I'm going to make a straight line. Now, at the bottom, I am going to make a straight line, just like this. Then I'm going to curve towards the bottom. And then on this side, I'm going to be doing the same thing, make a little line. Now make sure that this line and this line are kind of the same. After you do that, you're going to be making little waves here at the bottom, just like this. Make little waves. Alright, now let's make the little feet. You're going to do one line, another line, one line, another line. And then on the back, one line, another line. What kind of lines are these? Hmm, think about it and see if you can tell me. One line and another line. Got it. Now at the bottom, we are going to do this. Wave and up. A little wave and up. A little wave and up. A little wave and up. And if waves are too hard for you guys, just make a little oval at the bottom, okay? Now we're going to be making the tail. And the tail is going to be a little wave like this and then up, just like this, kind of like a little oval there. After we're done with this part, this is what I want you to do. Get in the eraser or use the eraser by your pencil and then go very slowly erasing this line right here. We're going to try to erase it. A little bit. Make sure you can still see it, okay? You're not erasing the whole thing. You can still see it. Now I'm gonna go here. I'm going to do the same thing. Erasing that line. Now what I am going to do is this. I'm going to start here at the top and I'm going to be making little waves. Following the lines that I had made before. Just like this. Make little waves. Now over here too. Now right here, you're also going to be making those little waves, just like this. Take your time. Now that you are done, all you need is the little nose. Make a little triangle, just like that. And inside the triangle, make a little curved line. Now we are ready for the background. On the background, I am going to be doing this. Mountains. So for the mountain, remember, we are going to go up and down, up and down, up and down. 
And then on this side we're gonna do the same thing, up and down, up and down, up and down. Now that I made the mountains, if I want to make some clouds, I can make some clouds. And the clouds are kind of like this. You're making little waves like this. Little curved lines. Maybe on this side you want to make another one. Make curved lines like this. It's okay if it goes out of the page. Now here at the bottom, I need to put a walkway so that this llama can walk. So I'm going to take my pencil, I'm going to start here, and I'm going to make a wavy line like this. Whee! And then I'm going to keep going on the other side like this. Now that I'm done, I will use my pencil to do the last details on my llama. Here, I want to make it have a little patch, so I'm going to do like this and create a wavy line like this. If you don't want to have a patch, you don't have to, and that's okay. Now right here, I want to have another patch. So I'm going to make a little wave just like that. And now I am done with my drawing. Make sure that you do this for today's class. Next time, we are going to color the llama. In the class after that, we are going to color the back. Make sure you come back, okay? And see you soon. Happy Hispanic Heritage Month. Bye!